Hello Geminis and welcome to your 2023 February readings. This is 18 and over, okay? All right, so we're going to see what's going on the first half of the month, the second half of the month, and see how you're leaving. We're also going to have an extended uh, for the 18 and overs, and that will be in the description box down below. Now, friendly reminders that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only, so make smart choices, please, and thank you. Let's see what we have going on from our lovely Geminis for the first half of the month when it comes to love and sex and all the good things. All right, Geminis, there's someone in the picture where might have a little bit of a past here, okay? And it looks like there's something that you didn't know prior to being with this person, but now the secret is out, okay? So this is not having all the research and everything like that. And now you're like, who is this person? Now you're also discovering that the first time you had a sexual encounter, or like the first couple times, whatever it is to you, you had a sexual encounter with them. You're like, oh, let me try to give back. Let me do the things. But then as you discover this new person within them, you're like, oh, I don't even know if I'm turned on sexually anymore. So let's see where this develops, okay? You may have found out about some type of altercation that happened, but they kept it a secret. Why is that relevant for your 18 and over reading? I don't know. This could have even been an altercation about another female here, okay? But I'm seeing that... Sorry, my screen turned off. Now, things are kind of turning where now they're watching you. Like, well, has a conversation happened about this yet? It's like before you were watching them, but you didn't know all the facts. But now they're watching you, but like, well, why is she acting different? Or why is he acting different, right? Why are they acting different? So going into the second half of the month. Let's see. Going into the second half of the month, let's keep going. Because it looks like they are still very much so interested in you. Okay, and here you're one that's in a little bit more of a vulnerable position for one reason or another, maybe literally. Okay, um, so going into the second half of the month, the attraction is still there. I do see you guys still hooking up here, okay. But I keep feeling like you're not alone. I'm going to clarify this one. But yeah, your attraction is still there. You're still doing the love you talk. You're still hooking up. You're still doing the things. But now you're considering if you should be taking care of yourself more. Rather than relying on them to take care of you. So how are we leaving? But they just have the whole package with everything else. It's like, oh, they might have like a great job. They might have, you know, be really good looking. Um, other people rely on them a lot. They might be in a place of leadership. And you like the pace that things are going in. Things are moving slowly, really slowly. But you just can't shake whatever this is that you learned about. You just can't shake it. It's like they have a past that you knew nothing about and they just, they hide it with the mask, right? But on the surface, or hello, madame, or sir, or whatever you want, right? 
Let's pull a few more. I'm going to go into the extended because I want to go into like how they're feeling about you and their desires and their like intentions. And I want to see like what else they're hiding. So we're definitely going to do that. It does look like sexually the chemistry starts kind of trickling down a little bit as we're leaving them on. So let's start pulling for your other reading. All right, so when it comes to this person, okay, not shuffling apparently. When it comes to this person, how do they feel? I'll take it about you. We want to know what their desires are. Like, what do they want, right? What are their intentions? What are their intentions? I'll take it. Is there anyone else that you have to worry about? Anyone else? What are potential red flags, conflicts that you might have to, wow, there's a lot of cards, might have to experience this year? I mean, not this year, sorry, this month. Uh, will they commit to you? Will they commit? And of course, a final outcome. Alrighty, that's going to be your reading. Until next time, bye.